Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the MAC Times Patrick Star collection. So I picked up the Patrick Powder and the Mama Star Lip Combo as well for us to try out and review here today. So before we go right into the video, if you do not know who Patrick Star is, I am I'm going to link his Cinderella story video down in the description bar and I'm also going to link his Mac collection video down in the description bar just so you can check it out and see why this individual is so special in the makeup community and why this collection is actually really monumental because I think this is the first collaboration that Mac is actually doing with a beauty influencer and I'm glad that they did choose Patrick Star as the first influencer because Patrick's motto as well as max model kind of does meld well together because it's makeup is a one size fits all makeup is for everyone what's great about it is you don't have to worry too much if you are being inclusive in shade ranges okay you don't have to worry too much everybody can enjoy the different products that you do put out if you have been tuning in and watching my videos just go ahead go ahead and subscribe already join the fam we clearly have something going on here that's pretty much it Let's get right into the tutorial. Uh -huh. So to start today, we're gonna be going in with the J Own or J One Jelly Pack Dramatic Firming Skin Elastic Pore Smoothing Primer. Okay, and I'm just gonna go in and work this into my skin. I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Foundation in the shade 520G as my base for today. Now that I feel like we have a good base on, I'm going to go in with concealer. The concealer I'm going to be using is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. For my face, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty foundation in the shade 490, just on the outer parts of my face. Okay, so now that we are done with our highlight and our contour, it's time for the fun stuff. I picked out a few items from the collection that I really wanted to try. So of course, the Patrick powder. So I also picked up the Mama Star lip glass. I picked up the mahogany lip pencil. And I also picked up the Mama Star lipstick. So with the, for the lips, we're doing the Mama Star combination. I've never actually tried a MAC setting powder, like their loose setting powders. So this is going to be interesting. I, I love the Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder. This is the Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder right here because it's colorless, it works well on a lot of different skin tones, and at the same time, it's really, really finely milled and doesn't leave my face very dry because I do have dry skin. I don't want to have dry under eyes. So we're going to see if the Patrick's Powder really does perform. This is the packaging right here. It's so cute. You can see it's this holographic silver diamond detailed packaging with Patrick Star's uh, signature right at the front with MAC. So this is it. It's really cute. At the front it does still say Patrick Star. What I found really interesting was watching his video, he described this as a a real like a pink tone to it and it it does actually. It's got a slight peachy undertone. I wouldn't even describe it completely as pink. Let me see if I can swatch the Ben Nye right beside it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but this is the Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder right here, and this is the Patrick Powder. Patrick Powder has a slight peachy pink tint, and this is just white. We are going to go in with the Patrick's Powder today, and I'm going to bake with it because Patrick Star bakes. We're going to bake. Taking my beauty blender, I'm dipping it into the powder. And we're gonna just pat this onto the skin. It feels great on the skin actually. It's not 
it's not patchy. It's not patchy at all. I'm gonna also go underneath my contour right here. It's really buttery actually. Very buttery, which is good. Because it's not disrupting the the product underneath it. Okay. Am I slaying like Patrick yet? I'm gonna do my brows and my eye makeup and we're gonna come back on camera and wipe this off. Let's dust away this powder and see what we are working with underneath. This is so much powder. <laughs> okay, just gonna go in and... You know what, I'm gonna say this right away. This powder is beautiful. This powder, my skin looks and granted, I do have really good skin, but look at this already. I just wiped this off, so it doesn't leave a cast. It doesn't leave a cast at all. If that's something that you're nervous about with this powder, it adds a really beautiful, like peachy warmth to the to the under eye without looking too dramatic. And it wipes off so beautifully. Oh my God, look at that. What, look. I'm actually really impressed, really, really impressed. Yes, Patrick, come through. This powder is definitely brown girl friendly, definitely. So this gets two thumbs up from me. This powder, I say go buy it. I look flawless. <laughs> I look so good, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. This looks so good. Am I actually really crying over makeup? <laughs> wow. Yes, Patrick, you did that. Guys, I'm real life like actually tearing up. This is so crazy. And do you see like how I, wow. <laughs> So I thought I went in with just a little bit more. I wanted to see if it would still cake up and it didn't. It didn't, it looks really good. Next, I'm gonna go around my face and just bronze with what I'm holding already, which is the KKW Beauty Powders. This is the dark kit. Patrick really bronzes his face up, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here today. Wanna get that Patrick beat, Patrick beat. I look like a whole meal. Not even a snack. This is a full four, four course dinner. Bronzed. I'm just gonna go with whatever's left just down the sides of my nose. This is amazing. This powder is amazing. Really and truly, this powder is really good. I'm going to highlight with the, let me use a different highlighter today. Let's use something. Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in La Bronze. When I tell you, I literally have about a 40 year supply of LeBrons in this thing. Like I'm good, I'm straight for the next 40 years. I'm gonna go on my cheeks. Y'all see that? Look at that glow. This highlighter is beautiful. Shout out to Jackie Ina. Yo, this makeup, and you know what's so sad? I'm not even leaving the house today. That's what's so crazy about this. I'm literally going nowhere. I'm doing this. To go nowhere so I'm going to be going in with probably my favorite blush of all time Mac raisin this color complements virtually every look I literally look like a doll oh you know what I haven't used in a while Milani's luminoso this feels like a good day to use it so you see how like my cheeks are just nice and glowy now Oh, that's what I love about Luminoso, especially on darker skin tones. I think every woman of color should have this blush. It doesn't add much color, but it, but it does add a really beautiful sheen. So I'm going to spray my face down with, let me just use only Fix Plus today. Let me see if my edges, oh, my edges are still intact. <laughs> okay. So now for the lips, I think I want to zoom in a little bit. I look very warm. This is definitely going to be Patrick approved. Look how warm I look on my forehead. 
Mahogany lip pencil is definitely like a brick red brown. Um, it's a brown shade, but definitely very, very warm, very warm brown. This is Mama Star lipstick. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. So that's Mama Star lipstick right beside it, right here. The Mama Star lip gloss. Oh yes, this is like a like a mocha peachy brown. Do y'all see this? It's picking up more mauve on camera, but in person, it's definitely a, a peachy brown. I'm gonna go in with the lip liner. Hmm. It's a nice shade, however, I don't necessarily think this is something that I would have originally gravitated to if I was picking out a lip liner to go with some uh, a lipstick of this shade for my skin tone. I would have wanted a more neutral lip liner and something a little darker. But this is how Patrick does it, so we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go in with Mama Star lipstick now. Come on, Mama Star. It's peachy, it's mauvey. Hmm. So let's finish it off and then I'll decide if I wanna change the lip liner with this. Going in with the Mama Star gloss now. I love this gloss. Wow. It's pretty. It is a pretty lip lip combination. So if you are darker skin, this is what Mama Star as an entire combination will look like. Yeah, so this is what we are looking like right now. I'm gonna take my hair down and then we're gonna come back and kind of just touch base and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the items that I had picked up from the collection. Wow. Whew. Whew. Lord. I'm so sad I'm not even leaving the house. <laughs> I'm definitely serving you guys like retro 60s housewife vibes here, right? Let me give you guys my final thoughts on this collection. Okay, starting with the Patrick Patrick's powder. Please go out and go purchase it. This powder is $34. Okay, it is pricier. It is more expensive, but the quality, oh my god. It's so buttery, does not look cakey on the skin whatsoever. I look hydrated. I actually, my skin looks really healthy and hydrated. It didn't cause any dry patches. I have really dry skin and I don't have any dryness on my skin everything just looks buttery and beautiful and smooth don't be scared by the fact that it does have color this is definitely a rebuy for me i mean i'm gonna use this wisely so i don't have to rebuy it and it's brown girl friendly so if you are darker skinned you will be able to use this don't be nervous about the color it does actually buff out nicely on the skin next i'm gonna talk about the mahogany lip liner to be very honest on my skin tone i don't think i'm a fan of this lip liner like i said i would have preferred something more neutral and a little deeper i don't necessarily like this color like the lip liner color, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not crazy about this shade mahogany. The overall combination is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just personally, in terms of my preference, I do prefer to have a, a darker, something a, more neutral or cooler to kind of go with my uh, undertones versus something so warm. Like mahogany is red. <laughs> the Mama Star lipstick. This is a really beautiful shade. So. It, I would describe this as a warm, mauvey, peachy brown shade, mid-tone brown. It's not, it's not a deep shade at all. It's not very deep. It wears beautifully, and I think this would be beautiful in a lot of different skin tones. So this, I would say, yeah, I would rebuy. I would definitely rebuy Mama Star. This is beautiful, but I don't think I would run out of this anytime soon. There is something about Mac lip gloss. I don't know what it is. I can't put a finger on it, but you put on Mac lip gloss, and you literally feel like a badass. Boop. <laughs> Okay, lip gloss is just lip gloss. This is a rebuy. <laughs> it's a MAC lip gloss. 
Overall, I will say that I definitely do recommend the MAC Times Patrick Star Collection. I do think it's beautiful. I think as a holiday gift for somebody who is a makeup lover, this is definitely something really, really special to get somebody. Congratulations to Patrick Star on this collection. It's absolutely beautiful, and I definitely do recommend trying out some of the items from the collection for yourself thank you so much for watching this video and for watching this review if you did enjoy it do not forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and do subscribe as well i do have a few other videos that i will leave right here that you can check out i do hope to see you in another tutorial but until then stay blessed and stay golden